Hello, good day and welcome to About Device. Today we are going to be learning how to change our Windows cursor. You could see how my window cursor looks. So you could change how your window cursor looks. So first of all, you click on the Windows icon. You then search for Control Panel. You go to the Control Panel. So after opening Control Panel, you click on View Devices and Printers. So you will see your mouse or touchpad, you right click and go to mouse settings. So on opening the mouse settings, you have to go toward the pointer because that is what you want to change. So you could see the default ones and you could see the schemes here. You could select any window scheme, then also select the pointer you want to use, you could click on browse. And then you could see available pointers. These images are showing the pointer. Let's say I want to change my window cursor to this. I could click and open this. And then apply. And you could see my cursor has changed. You could also, if you just want to change to default, you just click on use default. Click on apply. And immediately it will change to default. Remember there are different schemes. So you could select this scheme. Browse what you want. Then you apply the changes, then you could see that my Windows cursor has changed to this, and then you click on OK. Remember, you could also go back and change the settings anytime and use any cursor for your um, for your mouse. So one thing again I want to bring to your notice is an extension of cursor made by our Stardox. So all you just have to do is search for cursor effects by Stardox. So you could see the available FX here. So all you just have to do is what? Download this to get the um, Stardock FX. Remember, you could use the free or paid depending on what you want to do. All you have to do is install and then select the cursor effect you want. So hope with this you've learned how to change your cursor and you've learned how to use um, Stardox cursor FX to change your Windows cursor. You could also change back to the default here, depending on you. If you want to change to default, you just click on this and apply, and you could see it has changed back to the default. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to About Device for more tech related tutorials. Thank you.